I thought my hair would never and could never grow past hair length because it was stuck there for many months. But after making a few changes to my hair care routine, my hair finally grew past hair length. These changes were simple yet effective. They took me from hair length to shoulder length. If you want to know what these changes were, then keep watching and make sure to watch to the end of this video so you will not miss anything. I stopped washing weekly because I realized that washing weekly was too much manipulation for my hair. Washing weekly wasn't allowing my hair to get a good break to just revive from all the detangling and manipulation that happens on wash day. Also, it was too much for me physically. The long standing in the shower and the amount of time that it took every week became truly overwhelming. I am aware though that not everyone can stop washing their hair weekly because they might have scalp issues dealing with. However, if this is something you know will work for you, then by all means try it because it worked for me. I started doing long term protective styles. I used to style my hair in medium twist or plaits on wash day, wear them for days then take them down and put my hair in a pineapple puff or an afro to wear to church. Obviously this wasn't working because I would see so many breakage everywhere and my hair would be so dry even after moisturizing. I know this was because my ends were exposed and my hair was being manipulated too often. So I tried doing mini twists and left them in for up to 6 weeks sometimes. And I noticed my ends weren't breaking off as it used to. And my hair wasn't drying out in seconds. Because of this, the health of my hair improved and I was able to retain length. Since I stopped washing weekly, I figured that when I do, I would need to really treat my scalp good for it to push out strong, healthy hair. So I would always go the extra mile every time I would wash my hair by giving my scalp a good detox and exfoliation. I will make a video specifically showing you guys how I did that so be on the lookout for that video. However, to satisfy your curiosity, exfoliating and detoxing your scalp basically helps to lift build up get rid of harmful bacteria and toxins that might have been sitting on your scalp over a period of time leaving your scalp clean and creating the perfect environment to grow with healthier stronger hair i created a moisture routine for my hair that i did consistently even though I wore mini twist 99% of the time, I knew that my hair still needed care and attention in the twist. So I would lightly spray my hair with water and even if I skipped my hair butter, I always used an oil to make sure that the moisture from the water was staying in. I moisturized every 2 or 3 days and I would plait my twist in the night to keep my hair stretched. I realized that washing in a pile was part of the reason wash day was so long and tiring and the reason why my hair shrank and tangled so much. I would lose so much hair to breakage on a weekly basis because my hair was so knotted it was almost impossible to detangle. So I decided that I would try washing my hair in the mini twist. I didn't know it was okay to wash my hair in twist. But after washing my hair in the mini twist and seeing that my scalp and hair was able to still be properly cleansed in the twist, I never stopped. I was happy because this shortened wash day kept my hair stretched and reduced breakage significantly. The word of God says, ask and it shall be given. 
and I did that. I prayed for thick long hair and I had faith that God would see reasons with my request and grant it. I didn't get it immediately, but God answered. Don't be afraid to pray for what you want because no request is too small or trivial for God to grant. These styles became my special occasion styles because I knew although they were cute, they weren't the best for my hair if I wanted to pass hair length. My hair tangled and break too much in these styles and they didn't help my hair to keep in moisture because they left my hair directly exposed to environmental conditions. Apart from a shampoo and conditioner, as well as my DIY scalp care concoctions, the only other products I really needed were for the purpose of keeping my hair moisturized. And for that, I used three basic products, water, my hair butter, and what I now call my moisture retention oil. These few products took care of my hair needs and helped it to flourish. Before I narrowed my products down to these few, I thought I needed all the puddings, curling custards and creams, but using these weren't necessary, they were just extras. All my hair really needed to thrive was to be clean, moisturized and to be manipulated less. And that is it for all the changes I made to grow my hair from hair length to shoulder length. If you would also like to know what I did to grow my hair from shoulder length to waist length, then be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because that video will be coming very soon. Thank you for watching to the end. Bye!